Hello all. Welcome to the exploiting simple buffer overflows on Win32 series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at automating bad character detection. Now if there is something you guys have seen pretty much in the last couple of exploits that we've written, that bad characters unfortunately is an inevitable devil you will have to face, right? Now till now we've done this in a painfully manual way and relied on visual inspection definitely which is prone to error. Now the most common uh, visual inspection mistake is that certain characters may be transformed into something else depending on what the program logic does. And if you manually inspect, you may skip one or two of those characters and actually make the mistake of thinking that those aren't bad characters. So this is really where it is required that we do not rely entirely on manual inspection, but rather we have a tool which allows us to A, generate these character sets at will. So let's say the very first time we generate the whole character set 0x00 to 0xff and once we find that 0x00 is a bad character the next time the tool generates all characters minus 0x00 then we may find 0x0a again the tool generates all characters minus both of these two right now, once it does this, it also should be able to help us compare this generated character set with specific memory locations, right? So let's say we do a stack based buffer overflow, then this tool should allow us to go ahead and check whether the character sets which were generated are actually sitting on the stack or not. If not, it should figure out the position where the truncation happened and basically which in turn would allow us to detect a bad character. Now, as one can imagine, this tool would have to work very closely with immunity and you can almost imagine an immunity debugger plugin. So enter the world of Mona.py. Mona is created by the Coreland team headed by Peter. Uh, they've done a very fantastic job with this plugin and it pretty much allows you to do a host of things apart from just helping you with bad character detection. Now the full capabilities of Mona would definitely be taken up in other series when we look at you know creating ROB gadgets and whatnot uh, when probably we actually run courses on many of those topics, right? So stay tuned, those would be separate courses. Uh, it isn't possible to cover all of that in this introduction course. Uh, but you can pick up Mona from the link which is provided and an early version of the documentation is also available on Coreland's site. So what you would need to do is go to Mona, Mona's download page, click and download this and ensure that in your Windows VM you put this under immunity inc, immunity debugger, pi commands, and you put this in there, right? Now, if you go back, as I mentioned, they have an old documentation page as well, uh, which I'd recommend that you go through, right? Has a very good documentation, a lot of illustrations, so it should be helpful. Now, we'll only take up the capabilities of Mona in this series uh, which pertain to bad character detection, right? The others we'll cover in other courses. So the vulnerable program we are going to use is Minishare, which we've already looked at in previous videos. Let's drag and drop this with an immunity. Now, the setup which I have is I have a shared folder right F drive and within that I have a directory called Mona I'll explain what this exploit.py file is in just a bit now this shared folder is actually shared between VMs so 
I can actually go ahead into my shared folder even from within backtrack uh, sorry Kali Linux because the same folder is shared with this VM as well under media and then after that whatever name the folder has and I'm inside the Mona folder this is required because we are going to be creating the byte arrays and all of that on the Windows machine using Mona but we'd be using it on the Kali machine to write the actual exploit now let me open up exploit.py and if you go back to our exploitation of mini share this is really the skeleton program which we had written once we found the offset at which the return address gets overwritten right so jog your memory or go back to those videos and find them now uh, just so that we know this works perfectly if we run exploit.py oops we haven't started mini share let's start mini share send the payload and as expected mini share crashes with EIP being overwritten with 42 42 42 42 blah 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 please look at the in an earlier video in which we've covered mini share now in this video this is the exact position where we need to begin doing bad character detection right so let's begin the first thing we need to do is set our working folder in Mona and it's actually very simple to do this it's basically an exclamation followed by Mona which is how you invoke any pi command uh, as part of the immunity debugger and then you put in config hyphen set working folder and then give the location of the working folder so let's say f drive Mona and then percentage P now when you mention percentage P Mona assumes that it needs to create a folder with the same name as the application which is mini share and inside that all the stuff which we do uh, along with Mona for this application would be stored so we hit an enter and if you notice it basically tells us that the working folder is F drive Mona percentage P and which is pretty good to go now let's go ahead and restart the program now if you recall the very first step is actually to go ahead and create a byte array containing all possibilities now in Mona this is very very simple it's basically exclamation Mona byte array and if you notice the entire set from 00, 0 if you scroll to the right up to 0f is actually stored in two files one is mini share byte array dot text and another is byte array dot bin if you look at this folder we'll actually see there's a folder called mini share inside which both of these are there and typically we would actually include byte array dot txt into our program right now what I'm going to do is rather than copy pasting the byte array every single time I'm actually going to just work with byte array dot bin right so I'm going to go ahead open my exploit dot pi and let's say I put in my bad characters just after bbbb which is we ensure that the crash actually happens right and before that let's also figure out the location in memory where we expect the characters to be there so let's actually restart the program so go in there let's wait for the crash perfect now if you notice at this point the place where we expect uh, the character byte array to begin would be right here right the place where the cc's are currently so 013B3908 <clears throat> you could very easily just write this down somewhere 013B3908 right let's restart the program 
now in my exploit.py I'm going to go ahead and actually open up mini share byte array dot bin for reading in binary mode and just read the file right now what does this ensure well the fact that we can actually read in the bin file itself rather than doing the cut copy paste every single time which I found is pretty inconvenient right so let's go back in here about to launch this the application is running and we have a crash now if you notice after BBBB we basically did not have 00, zero of course which means that's a bad character but this time around we're going to use Mona to tell us about it so here is what I want to do I want to tell Mona to compare the entire byte array with the contents of the memory location beginning right here right so Mona will be able to detect that hey 0 0 is what is expected but it isn't there and hence it's a bad character right so how do we do that remember the address and then type in Mona and you do compare hyphen f you have to give the location of the byte array so this was f drive Mona mini share byte array dot bin and then the address from where the comparison needs to begin is is right here 013 B3908 we go ahead hit an enter and if you open this up it basically Mona tells us that the bad character the first one which was detected is zero zero right fantastic so we now need to go ahead and generate a bad character array uh, or rather a character array which does not contain zero zero right how do we do that well we again enlist Mona's help and by the way if you you know want to know some of the commands you can actually do a Mona help byte array and this would actually throw up some help on byte array so hyphen cpb bytes to exclude the array right this is exactly what we need so we go back in here hyphen cpb and then 0x00 zero zero zero. now if you notice we have a new character array which overwrote byte array dot bin and this contains the character set beginning from 0x01 rather than 0x00 fantastic let's go ahead restart the program run it and by the way byte array dot bin is already updated and because exploit dot pi is reading from byte array dot bin I don't need to go ahead and modify it in any way there you go we have a crash and this time around if you notice 0, 01 0, 02 blah 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 it goes on right let's have Mona do this for us again and you actually have history available here so you can go ahead and pretty much run the same command again right and here it is uh, remember to close some of the previous windows now this time it actually goes ahead and says corruption after 12 bytes and now 00 and 0d are the bad characters right so 0d is also something we now need to eliminate so we go back again over here right put in byte array and cpb 0x00, 0x0t 
generate this new byte array set oops just trying to ensure that uh, I haven't done any typos in here Here, my stupid typo. It's basically byte array. Uh, forgot the extra R. There you go. And this time around, you'd actually find that 0D is not in here. Awesome. Now let's restart the program again. Send in the exploit. Again, we have a hit. And if you notice right now, it basically says unmodified. And if you go back to the actual stack, you would find 0102 blah, blah, blah. Uh, everything is in there right up to FFFF right here and then you have your C's which are 43's fantastic so if you notice Mona actually was very very helpful in going ahead and helping you find the bad characters much more faster and this time around you did not have to rely on visual inspection uh, rather, you allowed Mona to compare memory bytes with the byte array dot bin you've generated, and this is way more efficient and accurate, right? Awesome. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and of course, I'd highly recommend that first you should use a lot of visual inspection and do it manually so that the concept of bad characters is very very clear. And once it is done, you can go back, revisit all the examples and detect bad characters using Mona. I also put this up in the slide, some of the common commands which we've used here. So you can refer to the slides as well. And if you enjoyed this video and that you're having fun at Pentester Academy, then please recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.